I'm in the flower tent here at the New Forest Show and with me I have local celebrity really from Radio Solent. That's very kind of you to say so. No problem. Alan Edmondson of Bowercott. Yes and this is our first effort at uh, a show garden. Fantastic. Also with me today I have Chris Rance of Garden Leaf. Chris is this your first time? It is yep. Yeah. Uh, we decided that uh, as a local landscaper it was uh, about time we got ourselves to the New Forest Show to support the local community. Now tell me what it is that you actually do. What's, what is Garden Leave? Um, we, we've been around for about eight years and what we do is we only build uh, medium to large sized domestic gardens. So we don't get involved with, um, with sort of building sites. We're, we're really here for local people and we do everything from a feature of a garden such as a patio right through to a full design which we work with uh, Alan and his son Bryn on. Alan. How long have you been doing this? We've been doing this for 10 years. And uh, we do the design work. My son does the designs. I do the planting schemes. And then we let Chris get on with the hard work. And we come back and do the planting. Now, you've got a wonderful uh, display here, which obviously is part of a competition. You've done really well. Somebody tell me about this. How did it come to happen? And how have you done? Well, we're all based at Bewley that we have an office, Chris and I have an office at uh, Fairweathers in Bewley and so we took inspiration from uh, Bewley Abbey mm -hmm. and we thought we'd uh, interpret what a monastic garden would have looked like. I can see that you've got the sort of the, the gothic element over there and you've got the sort of the, the garden um, produce which would have been obviously from a monastery self-sufficient. Yep. They would have had three gardens in the monastery. They'd have had a, a productive garden which is the vegetable garden behind us mm -hmm. They'd have had an orchard just over my left shoulder and they'd have had a herb garden which we've got out front here uh, to provide herbs in the main for the infirmary. So if you've got a headache we can look after you today. I haven't got a headache but I am quite hungry and the strawberries are looking good. <laughs> Chris, whose idea was it to come up with this theme? Um, that was down to Alan's son Bryn um, and he first sort of looked at it and thought of uh, where Fairweathers are based in Bewley and we looked at Bewley Abbey and took some, some ideas and research from there um, and from there it's really looking at the size of plot that we've been able to work with here and um, we've been really lucky that we've been able to get these um, reclaimed original York flagstones that we're underneath the bench we've got from a reclamation company up in Romsey um, and we've tried to use sympathetic planting um, and structures such as the Gothic folly over to my right which were used at the Chelsea Flower Show this year to try and recreate a bit of theatre that would look and represent um, Bewley Abbey. You've certainly made a fantastic job of it and the judges thought so too. Tell me about the prize that you've won. Well we were, we were really hoping for um, a, a recommended or highly recommended garden. Um, it was beyond our world of streams really to get uh, any sort of medal but we've been awarded a silver gilt which is only one down from a gold. So we've got something definitely to go for next year and we're absolutely thrilled to bits with it. Well, I'm sure the garden's been really well received and I have to say that it looks absolutely stunning. So well done, Chris and Alan. Thank, thank you. Thank you.